Greetings everyone, it's Alexor again, and there's a trick about target farming items in this game that did, I didn't even know, and a friend of mine on stream, who has been playing Diablo quite a lot, didn't even know either, because you know, if you want to target farm, for example, I need an amulet for this build, which I still didn't get, and it's usually, it's Esadora's chain, whatever, amulet, whatever it's called, and usually drops from Zia, right, Lord Zia, if we kill him, that lad over here in the darkened way, this guy, I've killed him about 20 times and he just refuses to drop the fucking item for me. Then we realize there is another way to actually farm items, a target farm items, not just with the bosses. You can actually do this also in the dungeons. There is a great website for this. Uh, it's called Diablo4.live. There it is. And then you go to tools over here, target farm uniques. And then you can type in Whatever you search, Esadora's Overflowing Cameo, that's the one we search for. And then it shows you the, the dungeons where this actually drops, can drop, I should say. So these are the dungeons where this can drop, and it also says uh, you can turn this into a nightmare dungeon with these with the sigil moniker over here. High density means there's a lot of mobs, so you can also greatly farm on this leg. More likely to drop there because more mobs mean a higher chance for the item to drop and fast just means um, it's very fast to level your, level your glyphs as well. But of course we cannot choose which dungeon we turn into a nightmare dungeon. I wouldn't do these as regular dungeons, okay? I wouldn't do that. I would do them as nightmare dungeons. And what you do for that is you go to your alchemist. No, not alchemist. Uh, the occultist. Occultist. Occultist, maybe. That's as well. Occultist. There you go. You craft your sigils. And that's it, craft sigils, and you look for the tier you can do, right? It depends on your build what tier you can do. You want to do the highest, obviously, because the higher the tier of the Nightmare Dungeon, the better the item drops, very simple. So you want to go as high as possible. And you want to just create a bunch of these. And then you can see on here, it says right under, there's tier 48, you can see this, right? And then there is transform this dungeon to a Nightmare Dungeon. And then below that, it says the name of the dungeon. In this case, it's Sepulture of the Force One in catches done, all right? And here it should say the thing you need. And you, this is these ones over here. So we need, for example, Old Stones, Broken Bulwark, Shifting City, Mercy's Reach, Komdo Temple, Champion's Demise, Domhain Tunnels, or Hawfrost Demise. It has to say any of these on that. So what you do is you create a bunch of these and you didn't get them, okay, you'll salvage them again. These all suck, get them out of here. This one doesn't have it either, get out of here. Then you craft them again, and this you sort of roll this until you get one of these as a Nightmare Dungeon. Then you run it, and then there is a chance for you that these drop. Now, I must say, very important, these randomly drop, not just from the boss, but can also drop from any, any mob in this dungeon. However, you can drop any of these from these mobs, right? So the chance, it depends a lot on how many there are. So in this case, it would be a, wait, this is seven, eight, nine, a one in nine chance for this to drop. And last time I played about five Nightmare Dungeons, and then I got two unique drops, which weren't the ones I needed. But, and now you might be thinking, okay, hold up, but if I just do Lord Zia, that's much faster because uh, unique is guaranteed whenever I kill him. That is true, but you need to farm the fucking materials to even do the boss. And especially for Lord Zia, this can be very annoying because the exquisite blood you only get from Helltide, which nobody plays anyway. You have to kill the blood maid, which is very annoying. So, depending on the boss, you might want to choose or opt in to actually do the Nightmare Dungeons over the, the bosses. It depends a lot. That's something you have to choose. If you, for example, much rather do the boss because you have a guaranteed unique drop after that, fine. I just want to give you a second way to actually farm uniques because I didn't know you can target from uniques in dungeons. Now, as I said, you can also do the regular dungeon. You don't have to do it as a nightmare dungeon. Then you can just look at the name, Domhain Tunnels. For example, let's let's say the Komdor Temple. You just go into Google, Google Diablo for oh, what is it? What was it called? Komdor Temple, Komdor Temple location, and usually says it right away. Okay, in the Scout Coast subregion of the Dry Steps, and you can also usually have a image, so it's on the bottom left somewhere here. So this is this one. I can't even see it yet. 
but um, you can see like you haven't I haven't found it yet. So you see it on this map, you know, okay, it's down here. Actually, it's not here. It's This is the PvP area. We could just make this bigger, right? Probably makes it easier. Yeah, they, if it's IGN, they also have this interactive map, which is very useful. Um, oh yeah, it's on the side thing. It's over here, this one. There it is, Condor Temple. See, I already did it, never mind. But sometimes it doesn't show up, this icon. Then you just have to ride there on your mount, and then, then you see it. Very, very simple. So anyway, this is very, very useful. It can be very useful to farm these items. Um, for example, if you click on this one, this also drops from the Fallen, not just the Goldman, um, which means it also drops in other dungeons. The Asadoras really only drops in these, so this is, for example, uh, pretty tough to farm. Anyway, let me know what you think of this. I hope it helped to give you a second way or on how to farm your items. Again, it is not, there is sadly no real efficient way to just get exactly the item you want. You still have to be lucky either with the bosses or with the Nightmare Dungeons. But one benefit of doing it with the Nightmare Dungeon is, especially if you are leveling your character still, you can also at the same time level your glyphs up. Right? So you hit two birds with one stone, you get your glyphs, you mo potentially have the chance to get the unique you need while doing just one dungeon instead of trying to farm the boss. Anyway, so I hope this helped. I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.